Many people think oil could never run out, just like water. Okay, let's talk about oil first. Oil is formed mainly from carbon and hydrogen, which combine to create hydrocarbons. This is the foundation of fuel products like gasoline, diesel, kerosene, and even asphalt. They all share one thing in common. They're made of carbon and hydrogen. When burned, these hydrocarbons react with oxygen, releasing energy. That's what makes oil a powerful fuel source. But where do the carbon and hydrogen come from? They originate from tiny marine organisms like plankton and algae. Their bodies are rich in carbon and hydrogen, stored in fats, lipids, protein, and carbohydrates. After they die, their remains get buried under oxygen-poor layers of mud and sediment for millions of years. Instead of rotting away, they're preserved in the sedimentary rock. With pressure and heat from Earth's geothermal energy, their remains slowly transform into kerogen, a solid organic material packed with carbon and hydrogen. With even more heat and pressure, kerogen breaks down into liquid hydrocarbons, what we know as crude oil. From this, it's clear that oil takes an incredibly long and complex process to form, while humans consume it in mere seconds. That's why oil is called a non-renewable energy source. So if someone says oil will never run out, what they probably mean is cooking oil, not petroleum.